Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Sterling and today you guys are watching a fitness vlog. So this is how I stayed healthy, how I stayed skinny, how I avoided the freshman 15 in college. And I know this is a big struggle that a lot of people deal with. Now, of course, like the main focus of college isn't just to be skinny and to be healthy and to avoid the freshman 15. I'm also trying really hard to do this video without sounding like a complete because like there it's so easy to interpret this in like a really rude way and I don't mean for this to be rude at all if you guys are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button I upload videos as much as I can and uh, join the styling fam because it's a lot of fun and if you are part of my styling fam hello welcome back hello welcome back I missed you so much so I went into college vegan when I say vegan I mean plant-based and I also went to the University of Alabama and if you know anything about the south especially the deep south especially Alabama it's that it is home of the meats the milks and the cheeses okay so being vegan that was not easy to do so pretty much you can assume that i never really ate at the sorority house but i'll get into that like more of what i ate later and i also never really ate at the dining halls either because again it's still alabama so it was home of the milk cheeses and meats and it was just nothing really appealing to me you can pretty much assume that i was eating all on my own like i didn't utilize it uh, sorority house pretty much at all. I didn't utilize the dining hall pretty much at all like maybe 10 times total throughout the entire first semester that I was there. So with that being said, I pretty much ate all on my own. I cooked all on my own. I had all my own stuff and um, I'd go out every now and then. So I lived in Burke and if you guys again aren't familiar with the campus, Burke is a traditional style dorm so it's not like a sweet style dorm. I didn't have a kitchen. I didn't have anything. It was literally just like a room just like my bedroom right now with two beds. It was me and my roommate and then we each had a desk and then we had like this we had a dresser area. So the entire one side of our entire room was like dressers and that was actually really great for storage. We had like wardrobes and we had um, like drawers and whatever and then we had like this common area and then above it we had like what we called our pantry. So I established a pantry and that's just pretty much where I kept all of my food and I made all of my food in my dorm. So everything that I'm telling you I made in my dorm but I also just want to say that food is more important than exercise. Like what you're putting in your body is way more important than how much you exercise at college because I exercise exercised maybe like 10 times total when I was down there no less like less than 10 times when I was down at college because and that's a lot because I worked out every single day before I went to college the reason I didn't work out is because the gym was like a mile away from me and I it was a mile I tracked it it was a mile away from me and I didn't have a car so I was like it was and it's it was just really inconvenient to walk a mile to the gym. So sometimes I'd run to the gym and then I'd run back to, from the gym. Like it was just very inconvenient. And it was like behind all the frat houses. So I just was super self-conscious every time I'd like walk back there alone. Like, I don't know, it, just, I, it was just always uncomfortable going to that gym. And like, it's super uncomfortable going to a gym where it's all like college kids. So I don't know, I just really didn't like going because it was literally just like everyone I went to school with and I just felt like everyone was looking at each other and everyone literally was there to like hook up with, like it was just freaking weird, like I don't know. I didn't like going to the gym, so I didn't go to the gym. And I really stayed healthy and skinny because of what I ate. So you're going to need to grocery shop, and this for me was like super freaking annoying. Um, in the beginning of the year, I would just walk all the time to the grocery store, and I lived in Burke, and the closest grocery store was Publix, and that was probably like a mile walk. So I would literally walk to the grocery store, and I would only get enough groceries that I knew I could walk back with because I didn't have any other option. Like, I mean, I could have Ubered, but like that's freaking annoying. I don't want to do that. So I would walk, and I had to make sure that I had enough enough groceries that I could walk back with and like sustain me for like a week but not too heavy or else I literally wouldn't be able to carry it back so for breakfast I would have oatmeal and my oatmeal was freaking lit oats in um almond milk put that in the microwave for three minutes and then I would take it out and I put granola peanut butter agave coconut flakes chia seeds craisins sometimes I had um bananas every now and then I would have strawberries in my fridge and stuff and I had like a mini fridge like I'm not like I literally lived as dorm as it could get I had a mini fridge with a microwave normally I would have my oatmeal after my first morning class and then went on my way to class like drinking a smoothie is what I love to do and I'd always make a mocha smoothie and that was with this regular coffee that I'd make every morning in a Keurig. Um, ice that I got from downstairs um, at like next to the vending machines and stuff. So I had to walk downstairs. One banana chocolate protein powder that I order off of Amazon. 
almond milk that I kept in the fridge. I had tons of almond milk all the time. Get the almond milk that you can keep that isn't that doesn't have to be refrigerated. Keep that. Get like six of those and just keep them in your cabinet at a time because those are really amazing. And the ones you open it, you do have to refrigerate it. But once they're like before they're open, you don't have to refrigerate them. Get those. And then peanut butter. And I blend that all together in my um it was a bullet ninja. Yeah, I'd make a smoothie and I drank that before English class or my sociology class, whichever day it was, and then I'd go home and I'd make my oatmeal. Or if I was like really in a pinch and I didn't have time to make a smoothie, I'd either have a banana or an apple or like a protein bar. My favorite protein bars were these. I really like these. They're the Health Warrior ones. Um, they come in a bunch of different flavors. This is just the um, Chia bar acai berry. So for lunch, I'd either do microwavable meals, and this is what I want to show you guys. So I really liked this brand, um, Mr. Douglas's Vegan Anything. Like all of this stuff, well not all of it, I think there's some stuff that isn't, but a lot of this stuff is vegan, you just have to look for it to say it's vegan. And there was like vegan ramen, if you guys like ramen, there was this white bean and pasta. I don't have it here at my house anymore, but I really liked this one. It was like a black bean and rice mix and that was probably my favorite it was really really good so look for these are really easy you can order them in bulk on Amazon also I liked this my mom was also really cute and she would send me like vegan care packages that she would find online it was just like all this vegan food and all these vegan meals that's where I got this one so this was simply Asia um, Mongolian noodle bowl and this is a vegan thing also, I don't have any with me but they, they were like these little quinoa packets so like you just I think you filled it with a little bit of water and then you put it in the microwave for like a minute and it was like quinoa and then it came with like not like the salsa thing but almost like a salsa mixture and you'd mix it in and it came with like a this little like spoon and fork and you would just eat it and that was like quinoa with like um, a good flavoring to it minute rice was like my favorite brown thing like my favorite brown thing my favorite thing because it was brown minute rice so it was brown rice and you just I think you literally just took the lid off pop in the microwave heat it up a little bit and then you'd eat it um I'd always have carrots and hummus on hand so I'd eat those um rice cakes with peanut butter was always a pretty good option for me as well and also because I lived in um a hall where a dining hall was um there was like this little convenience store like right next to it like in the building so i would go there and like jamba juice had like these smoothies there that were like pre-made and stuff and it was like in those machines and like you just pull it down literally thinking about it, it's probably just like straight like ice and sugar but um sometimes when i was like in a pinch i would just grab those and they were really good and they would fill me up so i would always get those they were like non-dairy they were vegan and stuff so i really liked those a lot and then for dinner i pretty much always had pasta with sauce so the way that you make pasta in a microwave it's super easy i would just get a, a paper bowl you fill your pasta up like a cup or so of pasta however much you want and then you fill it with water until the pasta is completely submerged in the water and then on the back of the box you read for how long it says to like cook it on the stove so i think it was like nine minutes and then you just add three minutes to it if you're doing it in the microwave so for me i always had to cook it for 12 minutes in the microwave then once you take it out the pasta is cooked but you're still going to obviously have water in the bowl so then i just would go over to the water fountain and i would like use my hand as a strainer because i didn't really have a strainer and i would just use a fork in my hand and i would hold back the pasta and i just dump out the water a little bit and then i had um pasta sauce that i kept in the fridge it was like this pre-made one and i would just scoop that in and i would just stir that around and i would eat it exactly like that so that was always super easy it only took me like 12 minutes to make so um i had pasta pretty much every single night um again i'd also have like minute rice sometimes for dinner and also i would always have canned beans and canned corn so sometimes i would like make a little burrito bowl at home and like um i normally would sometimes have like salsa in my fridge as well so i would get like minute rice and then i'd put the black beans the corn and then a little bit of salsa and i'd mix it all around and i eat i I'd eat that and it was pretty good carrots and hummus i'd have for dinner sometimes and every now and then i would go to the sorority house and i would you know if they had something that i could eat for dinner i'd eat it and then on the occasions that i would go out to eat we would walk to chipotle and i'd have a burrito bowl and my burrito bowl to this day still consists of the same thing it was brown rice with both beans um corn guac and the salad dressing i know the salad dressing has honey in it so it's not vegan but I mean, I was fine with that. Like, I would eat honey. There was this juice bar place, like, down 
um, in like the actual town of Alabama, like whatever. And whenever my big would drive me there, we I would always get an acai bowl. There was also this really good place called Five, and they had like this little like side store, and they had really good avocado toast and like juices and stuff. But now let's talk about like the thing that I know a lot of people want to know about in college, and that is drinking and the calories that you get from drinking. So I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I am not a huge drinker at all. I never really like I'll have a drink but like I don't like getting drunk I don't like the feeling of being drunk so I didn't really drink a ton in college and also I know a question is gonna be like how do you say no to drinking or like how do you turn down a drink because peer pressure or whatever you just have to establish yourself in the beginning like you honestly just have to say like I don't really drink that much like I'll have a drink here and there but like I don't really like to get drunk I don't really like to drink and you'll begin to find that there's a lot more people like that than you thought that there were in college I mean you just have to be honest with yourself and people honestly don't really care because if you're not drinking their alcohol that's great it's more alcohol for them and whatever like they don't care and then they they'll get to this point where they're so drunk that they literally don't care if you're sober or not so like you just have to establish yourself and you literally have to realize that honestly no one really cares and like you can like go to a pregame and you can still have fun you can go out and you can still have fun like I go out I have so much fun like I've never really felt the desire to be drunk whenever I'm out I wake up the next day not feeling horrible I know it's going on the whole time I don't feel out of control I don't feel out of my body I still have so 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 much fun when I go out like I just never felt the need to drink that's the honest truth so I don't really have too many tips on like how to stay skinny when if you are drinking I guess stay away from beer because one beer is literally equivalent to seven pieces of bread vodka I'm pretty sure like one shot of vodka is like 60 to 100 calories depending on the vodka and then if you chase it with like people chase it with sodas and mountain or sodas and like Cokes, Mountain Dews, Pepsis, whatever. And then they also chase it sometimes with like Red Bulls and energy drinks or sometimes they'll mix it with like super sugary like lemonades and iced teas and just a bunch of like crap that you're putting in your body. So not only are you taking a shot of vodka, but then you're also chasing it down with like something super sugary or you go out and you buy mixed drinks and that's literally vodka mixed into like other sugary substance. It's just like a big potion of just sugar and calories. If you do want to drink, um, this is what I would recommend to drink. It's like this, a skinny drink, I guess. Um, spiked seltzer. I love spiked seltzer. I think it tastes really good. It's low carb. And the ingredients on it are actually like readable and you can legit like read the ingredients. So I really do like spiked seltzer and it has more alcohol than beer, I'm pretty sure. Um, another drink that's pretty good um, for like skinny drinks, I guess, is vodka with um, tonic water. Also, if you like don't drink but you want to have a drink in your hand so that people like stop asking you like to drink um you just get club soda and a lime and it just it looks like a vodka tonic weight shouldn't be your only concern when you're in college like you you really shouldn't be focused on it like don't go out because it's going to be unhealthy you don't get drunk because you don't not get drunk because it's going to be unhealthy you just like just do things to balance out for one another. Two final tips and then I'm gonna end this. Um, drink enough water just cause that flushes everything out. And last thing is walk wherever you can and whenever you can. So that concludes all of my how to stay healthy, how I stayed skinny, how to avoid the freshman 15 in college. I hope this helps some of you guys. I hope I didn't sound like a complete in this video. If I did, I'm so sorry. That was not my intention. But I love you guys so much. I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic day. And um, yeah, try out these tips. Let me know if they help you guys at all. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.